video that shows exactly what I use to make travel videos. The number one thing that you need, uh, something to hold it with. My favorite thing is the Karma Grip. Stabilizes your GoPro, makes it really, really easy to use. Point it up, point it down. I also have the three-way mount, the three-way arm. Karma Grip cannot go in water, but this, on the other hand, can go anywhere I take it. It's very easy to use, it even comes with a built-in tripod at the bottom. It takes a little bit of balance work though because of the height of this thing. You can tilt forward or back and fall over pretty easily, which is why I think this is my favorite thing to use for any sort of time lapse. This thing is so easy to use and you just grab it onto anything. So if you're gonna travel anywhere, get these two. You get them through, through Amazon. I'll throw the links in the description. The rest of this stuff is little things that I have used. A hat clip's really easy to throw on one of your friends. This is a pull mount, really good for skiing. Also works well for a headrest in a car. This is a head mount. It's really good to get someone's first person perspective. As long as they're not moving somewhere, if they're running, it bounces. It's also very unstable. I've tried it for basketball and a few other videos too. This is my suction cup. This is what I use for any car video. Um, if you want to mount it to a window or something and take a group picture, that works too, or even like do a time lapse of a party, you could use this. But the best feature is probably while driving. The suction cup at the bottom works great. It will not come off. You also gotta have all your little mounts. These are gonna come with the accessories that you get. Very important is the sticky mounts. I have one on top of my car helmet, and one on top of my ski helmet. Also very important is the Chest mount, I highly recommend this for anyone who's just getting into GoPro. This is really easy to throw on just like anything. It mounts your GoPro easily, it's easy to use, it's right in front of you. I've used it for multiple applications. It'll give you a little different perspective than a helmet mount from you. So I do a 2.7K with 60 frames a second with field of view and wide. The reason is, is mostly because over here, because I can use video stabilization and low light. Sometimes I'll go to 4K, but you notice you only have 30 frames a second, and the big thing is, your auto light and your auto stability are gonna go away. Now the stability is not a big deal now with the Karma Grip, so another reason to buy it. 2.7K is nice because it gives you more frames, which makes it easier to do a little bit of slow-mos if you need it. Also gives you that auto low light. Everything can fit in here, Karma Grip, your extra case, charger, extra battery, and then don't forget you need your little door. This little door right here. So this is my little Amazon box here. I just throw everything in there, and then there it is all neatly put away. I don't bring this when I travel. I just take little things out of it that I need. This is the box that I bring with my GoPro and the Karma Grip. So the last step here process might be the video editing. So what I use is iMovie. Editing is just a creative process. Um, just learn as you go. Go to the co no copyright music on YouTube. You'll find a link in the description there for some of my favorite no copyright. A quick pro tip with iMovie is the first clip that you put into the movie is what the resolution is going to be. So if you want it to be 4K, find that first clip that is that. Upload 2.7 in 4K. If you like the video and you want to see more, he'll told me that I need to do this, so I'm going to do it. Please subscribe. Subscribe, whatever you need help with. Uh, I've been using GoPro for a long time. Please leave some comments in the in the comment box, and let me know what you need.